Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows, but I do wanna let you know if you can see this on my lip. It is from a fever blister that I had a while back and it's still, you know, there. Has it gone away? Oh, did I point on this side? I meant on this side. It's very visible, but I can't do anything about it. So I'm gonna begin with my eyebrows. I'm gonna start off lining them. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Eyebrow Pencil. Okay, so now I'm gonna begin. Sometimes I begin on the bottom, sometimes on top. But like this eyeliner or this brow pencil doesn't do a great, great job at getting the bottom part just because it's a little thick. It's not as thin as kind of like the Anastasia pencil or something like that. This is a universal brow pencil, so it's supposed to be good for any hair color and any skin tone. So I'm gonna move on to this side and then if I see anything I need to fix later, I'll do that. I'll do that in a bit. Okay, I'm not liking this eyebrow at all. So the brow color, the eyebrow pencil is not the color of my hair, my eyebrows at all. It's a little bit lighter, but I feel like if I do any darker, like if I go any darker, I do like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I have it here just in case I want to use it or put it on top of this. But I just, my hair is so dark right now that I feel like if I do my eyebrows as dark, it's gonna look weird. I'm gonna look like a witch. So for some reason on camera, it's coming off way too brown and not as dark brown as I see it in person. Maybe it's just my hair, it's just really, really dark. But you're gonna see the way that it looks afterwards. So we're gonna move on. Next, I'm gonna use my Lemonade. A favorite of mine is just an all-time favorite of mine. It's a yellowy concealer and I use it all the time. Is it called a concealer though? It's called a color correcting eyelid primer, but I've always used it to clean up my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line them up on the bottom. And where the eyebrow pencil was a little thick, I'm gonna clean that up right here. And then I just spread it towards the bottom to kind of highlight this area. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger, but for now it's gonna look a little yellowy. And this eyebrow looks a little thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up a little bit right here. So I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit with my finger. And it does look like it's outlined, like my eyebrow is outlined, but I'm going to cover that up with foundation and yeah, with the eyelid eyeshadow primer on the eyelid area, so. If this is one of your first tutorials that you watch of mine, just know that my eyebrows are crazy. One's round, one's squared. I can't stress that enough. It drives me insane, but that's just how it is. So next, I'm going to put on my eyeshadow primer, and this one is the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush that I use all the time. This one is a deluxe crease brush, and you're going to see it right now. I just put a lot of... No, not that much, but I just swirl it around in there. Just apply it all over the eyelid area. So I'm going to put the eyeshadow primer on top and a little bit on the bottom part. So right now I have a few palettes that I'm going to be using. I don't know which one yet. I have my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette. I have my Too Faced. ColourPop, ColourPop, uh, Sugar Pop palette, and the Lorac Nude Necessities. I haven't done a video with the Lorac one, so I think I'm going to use a few colors from here, like the brown ones. But I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette first, and I'm going to be setting my primer with this color right here, which is called Rock Candy. And I'm just going to take my fluffy brush, just like this, just put it everywhere and apply that on top of the eyeshadow base. Now, this is pretty, pretty light, so spread it around everywhere. And my battery's running low, so I'm gonna have to change it in a few minutes. So if the light changes, it's not my fault, it's the battery. So now I'm gonna take the Lorac Nude Necessities palette and I'm gonna apply this pretty color right here. Let me see if it'll... I hope you can see the colors. I feel like it's washed out. 
but this is the color that I'm gonna be using it doesn't have a name it's just a light brown it seems like it has a little bit of shimmer like it like if it has like a satin finish but once you apply it it just looks matte so it's just a pretty brown it's like the perfect crease color I'm just gonna apply that with my fluffy brush and this is a different one it's not the same one that I was using earlier the first one that I used was the M5 11 by Morphe it's just a fluffy brush and this one is the MAC 217 brush. And I have been practicing on my makeup just because I want to get better. I just, I know I have to practice. Like it takes practice in order to get better. So I've been doing different looks. I hope you can't hear that lawnmower. It started. It started. Um, they started mowing the lawn somewhere down the street and I was getting ready to film. So like I was saying, I've been practicing my makeup, my eyeshadow application. I've been using glitter, I've been using pigments, I've been using different colors, I've been using dark colors just to practice, get used to using different things and stuff, doing like different techniques or applying like a glitter all over my eyelid or something like that. It's been it's been fun. It's been fun just because I haven't done that ever but practice makes perfect and i'm gonna continue to practice so that's it for the crease area now i'm just wondering what color i should use as my main main eyeshadow because this is unplanned like i am not prepared i kind of want to do a color on the bottom which is why i don't know what color to do on top but i think i'm gonna use the so i'm gonna use the anastasia couture shadow couture palette and I'm going to use the color Bellini, which is this one right there. And I'm going to apply that on the eyelid area. But before I do that, I'm going to use my Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is glitter glue, but I use it as my eyelid primer. Just because I feel like it holds better. I have um, hooded eyes, so I don't want the eyeshadow to get on top of my eyelid. Or like on the crease area, you know what I mean? And what I do with this primer is I pretty much apply it all over the eyelid, going all the way up to the crease, all the way to the inner corner, and I don't let it dry too long. Right now it's wet and I haven't done the other eye, but I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyeshadow just so it can be super, super fresh, you know? It can hold on as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and use the color Bellini which is just a shimmery, it's like a pinkish orangey color, but I'm gonna apply that all over the eyelid. It's like a pinkish gold, pretty much like a, no, I wouldn't call it a rose gold, but it's like, it looks more pinkish on the palette than it does on the eyelid. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the other eye, do the same thing, apply the primer. And I just make sure to pack it on just to make sure that I can see the color so I can get the true color of the eyeshadow. And with the glitter glue, if your eyes are anything like mine, it will help you a lot. It will help it last a long time, but it will also help with it not going to the upper part of the crease area. So that's it for that color. Now I'm going to move on to the crease crease part. So I'm going to be using a darker brown. And I'm going to be using the color Fudge right here, which is just a dark brown. Like I said, you can find these colors all in one palette. I'm just going crazy and using random palettes. But I'm going to concentrate that on the crease area and on the outer part of my eye. I'm using this very, very small e.l.f. brush to apply it in there just because I don't want it to get messy. And I kind of go like in small circular motions to start blending it upwards so i not only run out of battery but i also run out of memory but anyways i'm using the color fudge still and concentrating that on the outer part of my eye and i have small eyes you guys so you have to be patient with me and i'm gonna go in onto the inner part of my eyes and I'm going to go towards the outside. I'm going to kind of create like a little angle or like a little V shape on the outer part just to lift up my eyes and then go towards the inner part.
Okay, so before I even do anything else, I'm gonna grab another brush, and this is another e.l.f. brush. But I'm not gonna put any product on it, I'm just gonna start blending this out. Now I'm gonna go to the other eye, and I'll do more blending at the end if I need it, or wherever I need it, because most likely I will need it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. I know it looks messy, I know. And now I'm just gonna move on to this eye again. And now just using a fluffy brush, I am going to continue blending. I'm gonna go back to the Too Faced palette and I'm gonna use the same color that I used earlier to set my primer. I'm gonna just apply Sweet and Spicy on the brow bone. Just a little bit like that. And I know it looks like it's a lot right now, but I'm just applying, well, I am applying a lot, but I want it to kind of bake. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, if you can't get that highlighted area to look highlighted, leave it on there for a little while and then remove it. And at the same time, I'm blending a little bit more. Next, I'm going to use my eyeliner. This is the one I use every single time. This is my favorite one. It's the Larger Than Life Pencil by NARS, and I'm going to apply that on my waterline. Now, I'm just going to use this brush to remove any fallout. Now I'm going to apply my primer slash moisturizer. This is the Hangover RX by Too Faced. My husband's home. Went to Home Depot and I think he got lost over there or something. And now I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I haven't used this for a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one today. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore, and I'm going to apply it a little bit back of my hand. And then, just with my finger, I'm going to apply it all over my face. I feel like it's a good color for me, so I'm hoping that it is. And those are my dogs. Yeah, so now just using my Beauty Blender, I'm going to just put that all over my face, or push it all over my face. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> so I was saying, um... I'm just gonna, I don't know how to call it. I always forget. What is it? What's the word? Push it in my face? No. I have foundation in my hair. You get the idea. Blend it in. Blend it in. That's just what I'm gonna say. Or buff it. No, it's not. I'm not buffing it. I can't think of the word. So it does look a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Thought I saw something on the ceiling. Uh, just because I've been outside and I'm pretty sure I've gotten a little bit darker lately But we're gonna make it work in a little bit. Once you know, I'm done. It'll look a lot better So next I'm gonna cover up my dark circles and I'm gonna be using the erase paste by benefit always use it my all-time favorite for my under eyes and Look you're gonna see a huge huge difference. I'm gonna do this eye first just in case you haven't seen my um, how to cover dark circles video so I'm also going to apply it over here a little bit to kind of clean up the edges. But I'm not really going to concentrate on that. I'm going to concentrate on my under eyes. And I also apply it right here in the inner corner. Because it does look a little dark in there. It looks like a little purpley. And a little bit around my nose because it gets red. So it's pretty much what I do. But watch, 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 watch. Once I blend it out. The difference that it's gonna make but there I always feel like it makes a huge huge difference and even around my nose like I get a little bit of redness there so this helps out a lot so there you can see the difference I hope you can I hope it's not washing me out but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye or as a matter of fact let me go ahead and do the concealer so you can kind of see what I'm talking about 
once I highlight and all that. So I'm gonna be using the Ultra HD Concealer by Make It Forever, and I'm gonna apply a little bit on the back of my hand, because a little bit goes a long way. And with my finger, I'm just gonna apply it just like this to kind of lift my eyes up a little bit. And whatever's remaining on my finger, apply it on the Beauty Blender, and then use this to blend it out. So I use my Beauty Blender pretty much for everything. Does this make a big difference or what? Yes or no? I know it does, I know it does because I can always, always see a big difference. So there, you can see both of them. And I just let it sit there, you know, before I even apply any powder on top. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. I usually do them, you know, at the same time, but I wanted to show you so you can see what I was talking about. And I feel like whenever, I've forgotten to put erase paste before, like sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, oh, I forgot to apply the concealer or the corrector. I can tell right away that I forgot because I can see the difference. If you hear Dino, which by the way, if you're new to my channel, Dino is my dog or one of my dogs. He's crying because my husband left again. So I'll go ahead and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And so I still have concealer on the back of my hand from earlier. I'm just gonna use that to apply it right here, just the same as the other side. And apply a little bit here. I have foundation there. I need to blend that out. So I'm gonna apply a little bit there and right here. And you can tell that was just a little bitty dot from the concealer. So whatever is remaining, clean it off with my Beauty Blender and blend it out. Sometimes I neglect the inner part of my eyebrows and it's obvious whenever I'm done doing my makeup. But honestly, I forget. Sometimes I forget to do, like the, if I change the way I do my makeup, if I change the order, I forget, I forget steps. But this is my favorite way, I would say, just doing my eyes first and then doing my face just in case I have fallout. I feel like it's all white around my my hairline. But my hair is super, super dark and I did dye it darker because my ends were showing up like they were, where I had the blonde part, I, I could see it, I could see it and it looked faded but not like pretty at all. It didn't look good so I had to dye it again and now it's like really, really dark. But I did dye my whole hair so that way all of it could be even but it's still not even we're gonna work on that i may have to dye it again sometime okay so next i'm gonna set the concealer so i'm gonna use the nyc smooth skin powder and this is a loose powder i've showed it to you guys before i think i've showed it to you in favorites and in other videos i'm almost 100 percent sure that i've shown it more than once and i'm gonna use the beauty blender one more time just so that i can make sure everything's blended out and i'm gonna do both sides because I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to set my concealer. So, I have a little bit of powder right there and I'm just gonna pick it up, just like this, and apply it directly. And I am gonna do the baking method just because I like it. And what I've noticed is I've used the Airspun, the Airspun powder, if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's actually, sit well you can't see it because you can't see my vanity which I also switched my vanity. You guys know I cannot keep the room the same way for too long. I get bored. But anyways, I was using the Airspun one and I noticed that after a few hours, uh, I think I told you in my favorites video that after a few hours my makeup was looking just cakey and I didn't know what it was or I didn't know why because I've always used like the MAC primer and the MAC, uh, what is it, the oil control lotion that works for me when it's warm outside and this time it just wasn't, it just wasn't working. So I didn't know what it was, but anyways, I, I started using this one again and it doesn't look cakey after a few hours. So if you're having trouble with the air spinning, you feel like it shows up a lot and I have the translucent extra powder or extra coverage and it just, you can see it. You can see it a lot after a few hours and I thought it was my foundation. I thought, what am I doing wrong? And I got it all over the side of my nose. Okay. So now I'm going to set right here. And I need to, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna get a little bit more though. I'm gonna do the bottom part right here. 
even though I didn't apply any concealer there, it still helps. It helps that area look clean. So I'm gonna look crazy for a little while, but I'm gonna do the contouring now. This powder makes a mess. All of the loose powders make messes. So I'm gonna be, ah, I stuck my whole nail in there. Okay, I'm gonna use the Low Rock Contour Kit. And I'm gonna use the lighter shade right here and using the, the brush that came with it, which I do really like it. It's very precise on where you apply it, but I'm gonna apply it right here. And then I'm just gonna go up. And I'm gonna apply that around my hairline. It's also gonna help cover up the white part that I had from like foundation around my hairline. And one time my husband told me, I don't think you put your makeup on, right? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I can see a different color around your face. You know, you missed the whole top part. And I was like, no, that's my contour. Which means it was obvious, which means I didn't do a good job at blending it out or it was just too much, you know, it was noticeable. Thankfully we weren't anywhere. We were here at home and I had just done my makeup like crazy, like a full, full face of makeup because like I told you guys, I've been playing around with makeup a lot, but yeah, it was noticeable, I guess. All right, so now I'm gonna use the bronzer and the bronzer that I'm gonna be using is from the Too Faced uh, La Belle Carousel thing, but it is the Sun Bunny Dark thing. The La Belle Carousel holiday kit that they had a few years, oh no, a year ago. And this one is the Sun Bunny Dark, it's by Too Faced, and I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques brush. This is a buffing brush. And I told you guys before, I use this for foundation, but I also use it for bronzer because I like it for both. And since I've been using my Beauty Blender every single time for foundation, I'm using it for bronzer right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right here, very lightly though. Just like a little bit on each side because this bronzer is crazy. And now I'm just gonna go in circular motions, which is why I like to apply the powder on the bottom because it keeps it from transferring, you know? And it helps it stay clean. And this is a orangey, orangey bronzer. Like it is a bronzer. And I'm just gonna go up a little bit. And now I'm gonna do my blush. I'm gonna be using this Too Faced blush, teeny tiny one. This one's in the color Love, no, Your Love is King. And I'm gonna apply that with a big powder brush. This is by Sephora. It's the number 40. It's called Pro Flawless Powder. I'm just gonna get a little bit and apply it right here. So now I'm going to blend out my bronzer a little bit more with this big brush. And I'm going to remove the powder that I have. I have a whole bunch of baby hairs. All right, so next I'm gonna do the eyeliner and I'm gonna use the NYX, if I can find it, the NYX gel eyeliner that I showed you guys in my favorites video. And even though I don't love it, it works. Like, I mean, I don't love it, but it does the job and I don't have another eyeliner right now. Well, I have the Tarte one that I do like, but it just, I don't know, it's, it's driving me crazy, so. And not only because of the way that it it applies but I broke it like I broke the side of it so the eyeliner comes out on the side and it just gets so messy so I'm gonna be using a an angled brush and I'm gonna do a wing starting right here on the outer part moving towards the outside wish me luck because this brush is getting on my nerves oh my brushes are driving me crazy I need an eyeliner brush I need a new one I'm gonna try this Tarte brush with it 
No, I hate the eyeliner. Hate it. So this is just a get ready with me and not a tutorial. I need a new eyeliner brush. I need a new eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna do the lower lashes using the Everything House powder. I'm telling you that powder made a mess. This is the I'm Dual Mascara. I've mentioned this one or I've shown it to you guys. This is from Mimi Box. I got it from Mimi Box and I'm using the bottom part to do my lower lashes. And I'm gonna use the Roller Lash Mascara to do the top lashes. I'm gonna apply falsies, but I want some mascara first. All right, and I'm going to apply my falsies. I'm gonna just apply some very natural looking ones. I'm gonna use my glue. I use the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. So while the glue is obviously drying, I'm gonna be using these two lipsticks. This is by Too Faced. They're the Melted Lipsticks. This one is in Melted Nude, and this is Melted Chihuahua. So what I'm gonna do is apply this one first on the outer part of my, eye, of my eyes, my lips. melted chihuahua on the outer part of my lips and I'm gonna apply melted nude on the inner part and you're gonna see I like it I mean it doesn't make it's not a big difference between the two lipsticks but I like the effect that it gives you see it's not a huge huge difference but it's just a little bit you know just for a change so what I'm gonna do next is something that I would really recommend that you try and I think that you would like it if you're having trouble getting your highlighter to show up you already know that glow is like what's in right now but if you're having trouble or if you have a highlighter that's not very pigmented or that doesn't show up a lot or that is too powdery I would really recommend you try this so the one that I'm gonna be using is by makeup revolution now this is a great highlighter on its own but to intensify it and to make it show up a little bit more what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my beauty blender it's still damp from earlier so I'm gonna be using the brush that, let's see I'm gonna show you what brush I'm gonna use or if I can find it okay so I'm gonna use the real techniques brush and this is a setting brush it's a pink one this is the way that it looks and with my beauty blender since it's still a little damp I'm gonna press this on top where I want it. Now I know you're probably gonna get a little bit scared because you're applying it where the blush is, but trust me, nothing's gonna happen. Press it on the, you know, where you're gonna apply the highlighter and then just apply your highlight directly on top of it. So pretty much you're putting something before, just like a little bit of, I mean, it's, it's water what's inside here, but it's not super, super wet. So it's just a little bit damp and what you're doing is just using that to grab on to the highlight and making it show up a little bit more. Now this is only if you want a more intense highlight. If you don't, definitely skip that. But I hope it's not washing it out and I hope that you can see it. It, it definitely works. So try it out. I don't know, it's just something that I decided to do. You can also use setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. If you heard my dog, yes, he was barking like crazy. Grabbing my brush. So there you can see the glow. So like I said, I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> so like I said, um, if you have a highlighter, maybe it's one that's not very pigmented or doesn't show up that much, or it's a drugstore one or even a high-end one that you feel is not intense enough, try it out. And I was telling you, you can also use a setting spray if you want to. You know, you can just put some on your beauty blender and apply it, or you can just set your makeup and then apply the highlight right on top of it and then you'll get that glow too so there's many ways that you can do that but i like it this way it's a lot easier and if you don't use a setting spray each time this will definitely work because it's you already have your beauty blender ready so yeah now that i have that part i'm just gonna apply a little bit more up here now up here i don't need it that intense so i'm okay with just using the brush on its own and i forgot to apply it on my cupid's bow Okay, so now I'm just using this brush and pretty much blending out the bronzer because I feel like it's a little too intense right here. And I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit more. And I'm pretty much blending in the bronzer with the blush, with the highlight a little bit. You can still see the difference between the three, but 
I don't know if you can, hopefully you can on video, but I mean, I can in person. And I'm just blending all that out. But that is it for today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's nothing super special. There's no color to it. I was gonna do color, but then I changed my mind and I just kept it simple like this, gold and brown. Super easy, super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see here on Beauty News and let me know in the comment section what type of videos you would like to see next. I do wanna do some tutorials. This was just a Get Ready With Me just because I didn't know what I wanted to do on my eyes today. But if you have any requests, any looks that you would like to see or any colors that you would like for me to incorporate in the look let me know in the comment section that's it for today i will see you all next time bye